Okay. Hello, uh, our Unity friends and all our um, YouTube friends. Um, this is Thomas, the old scientist uh, channel. I am here now near London at his uh, garage or his home and uh, just wanted to visit some friends here and uh, he will demonstrate us now some some cool experiments with his Tesla coils. Uh, maybe you can show this. Um, yeah. Maybe Thomas, you can explain it. Uh, you are the expert, the professional in this. Uh, yeah, so it's a very simple, it's, it's a very simple experiment to show the wave propagation with a Tesla card. I mean, you have all seen this kind of equipment. It's, it's nothing um, special here. You have here um, secondary coil um, um, charged here by uh, my primary, and we have, of course, here we have a capacitance top load connected, and we have the standard ground. So that's your standard Tesla coil, as you all know. But we have tuned it a bit different. So the difference is, as I said in my last experiment, is you have to be very careful with the tuning. You cannot use the tuning on a standard coil. You have to use the tuning so that your, your top load is literally sending out all the energy. So we have done that here. So we're using solid state technology. And the solid state technology will then actually excite the primary. And the excited primary will then um, um, couple with secondary and send the energy. Mm. So Maybe we can explain uh, this, uh, show me the setup. This is uh, just an empty So let's, let's just go uh, yeah. through the setup here. We have here our um, uh, standard signal generator. We, we're going to use here a square wave. It's a 50% QB cycle. Mm -hmm. We go over, this signal will be sent here to my uh, standard driver. My standard driver has its own power supply. So the pre-amplifier driver for the MOSFET. Well, that's pre-amplification, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So the signal will be enhanced here with mm -hmm. the system. And that will actually then uh, um, drive the IRP450, which then will be charged via the higher power supply, which is 120 volt, uh, 1 amp. So, 120 so this is the power supply for the MOSFET, which is driving this primary coil here from this Tesla setup. Absolutely correct. Yeah. So we have done some, uh, some preliminary uh, uh, tunings already, so we have 822 kilohertz here at the moment. And I want to show you a couple of um, effects we're going to see. Um, one, one, one interesting thing is uh, the, the secondary of this Tesla coil here uh, is connected to the ground, to a special ground which is in the garden, not the, not the house ground yeah, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and this is now the, the output, this is this um, ball, uh, and this is only this one wire pick up uh, to the scope so we can see the resonance uh, frequency here on this digital uh, scope then. Okay. Well, let's start it up. Okay, let's go. And let's take some voltage out here. So the power supply is... Well, as you can right. see at the moment we have 20 volt in here and you see here, because it's in fair distance, now maybe we should measure it from here and this some amplitude. So the voltage is fairly low, we have 200 milliamp at the moment at 23 volt. Let's go to 30 volt and see what it does for the system. Let me move over here. So at that time, at that value, I would not recommend to touch it anymore. It's, it's going to be painful, but I will uh, should show you. Already at 30 volt, um, I have a quite strong field. And the interesting part is um, because you can see here, that's one of the experiments for how you can actually test that your standing wave is where it's supposed to be, quarter wave, on your top load, I have the full power here. Mm -hmm. So this coil is tuned to the top load, it's not tuned to the resonance frequency of the coil itself, very very important. If you do that, you have one of your standing waves in between the coils, but not on top load. So what you have to have it at the top, so you that, need it, to have it. that it emits the most power. It admits yeah. the most of the power mm -hmm. on a top load and it will go out here. So this is a special scalar wave which comes yes. directly linearly out? out Absolutely out. out. It's a pressure it's wave which comes out from here yeah. and based on your construction on your top load and the construction on your coil system mm -hmm. which, will be, which, which has to be very specific, very, very different to what you see here. Mm -hmm. That's not a system which is efficient enough did show it in my previous video how you can do that, but it will result in a very special coil construction, which will be very, very powerful. 
And that means also the top load will be completely different where we can have this phenomenon. So we have 30 volt at the moment. Mm -hmm. We can enhance it a little bit. Let's let's crank it up. Let's say 50, 60 volt. So now he raises the power supply voltage yep. for the MOSFET driver, which drives the the primary coil. You see, we have a much stronger field now, and uh, we should see some sparks now as well. Can you show that? Yeah. No, he almost. It's at 60 uh, volt. If you go higher, so it will get stronger. But for those of you who know the functionality of flyback, so that's literally a flyback functionality, as, as you see. Let's increase the voltage a little bit more, then we see it a little bit different. Let's go 80 volt. So, 80 volt. So, let's have a look. Oh, Hopefully, no. it's not dying on me. Well, wow, now we can all almost pull one centimeter of spark. So, 10 kilovolts about at this uh, top yeah. ball. And as you can see here, can go to a distance and it will still lit up. Mm -hmm. oh. That's very strong. Mm -hmm. So so, we can so have the direction of the Scala wave comes out of this top ball yeah. into the direction of the secondary... So the form uh, of the top load will have an influence of the propagation of the wave. Uh -huh. As an antenna, an antenna has spe specific construction as well um, in order to, um, to emit um, TEM, the so transverse electromagnetic waves, in a specific fashion. As in a Tesla coil, you mostly have um, either a ball mm -hmm. or you have a toroid. Mm -hmm. But I will go for an additional, um, completely different um, 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 design, which will be a tube form, which will be um, working like um, like a speaker system, if you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a different, different top load I'm going to build mm -hmm. to amplify this kind of energy. So you want to build a new radio transmitter system which uses more efficiency to transmit uh, maybe radio or, exactly. or communication waves. Yeah. Wow, okay. That's great. Okay then, Thomas, thank you very much. Um, it was nice meeting you and all to all over Unity forum friends mm -hmm. and all other you. YouTube uh, guys out there. Uh, have a nice day and... We will meet again, I hope. I Soon. think so too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.